Often you've been with us for a number of months now. What have you made of the place, and do you feel like you've really settled now? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's been good. Um, like I said, I've been here for a while now, um, enjoying my time. Obviously, it's been a little bit stop start, and you know, I haven't had the best of luck, but uh, that's football. Um, and the thing is, is, we're all going through the same thing, so um, it's been good. Like the boys have been supporting each other on and off the field, so it's been good. And uh, in terms of that, the, the team that you, you, you come into, a lot of people say it's got a real togetherness about it. Would you say that's become apparent? Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, I came from a club that was like the same sort of thing. Like we were all from the same area, so we sort of just got on really well. But here, it's different. I mean, they're from all over the world, really. So, um, yeah, con considering that the boys have gotten on like really well, and like it's a really tight group. It's not many people that like have arguments or whatever. And if we do, it's out on the pitch. And then by the time the training's over, it's completely back to normal. And we're laughing about it in the change room. So it's um, yeah, no, it's very good. And what's your assessment of how things have gone for you so far? You touched on it uh, briefly. Um, in terms of... In terms of your, your game, in terms of how you really kind of... Yeah. How you went for the team. Yeah, no, um, it's it's a different formation. Same sort of style with different formation to what I've, I've, I've played before. But I really enjoy it. Um, it gives me a lot more time up front. Um, and yeah, it's I'm enjoying it so far. Has anything surprised you about the English game, maybe, compared to what you've maybe been told about it before? I think everything that I've been told has has been how it is. Like it's just tough. Uh, there's some games where it's you know not as bad as others, but for example, the Wickham game was there was one it wasn't even a football game. It was just like my head, my neck was sore from looking at the ball going like that because they just that we just yeah it's just the sort of style that they was playing. So, um, but I, I enjoy it because it gives you the it gives you that uh, what you need to develop in a game playing against like men and just the rough football, not um. Not always playing pretty football against teams that want to do the same thing as you. So, uh, but yeah, I, I enjoy that side of it. Have you seen improvements in your game from from when you you started here already? Yeah, definitely. Um, improvements and more. Like I've added added more onto my game. Like I said, playing against those sort of teams, you don't really get that as much in Australia. Like Australia is physical, but teams will still try to play football. Here, it's just physical and just yeah, big beefy boys just trying to knock you around. So. Um, I've definitely gotten better at uh, dealing with that that side of it as well, so no, it's been good. Do you keep up to date with things at Adelaide and what's the communication with everyone back home? Yeah, um, times? It's actually, it actually works really well, mostly when United are playing. Um, I get to just wake up at 8 o'clock and they start at 8am and by the time the game's done, shower and I'll come to training, so it's been, it's been really good. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'm mates with all the boys on that team, even through before football, so... Yeah, still keep in touch with them all the time, daily, daily talking to them about how things are going and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been good. You obviously moving to London and trying to settle here. Has it been a bit more difficult with the lockdown and things? You can't really get out much. Yeah, it does. It sort of feels like I'm on an away, like a, a long away trip. Like it just because yeah, I mean I'm settled in my apartment and whatnot, but I've not really been able to do anything or like go out anywhere or um, and I, like usually. I'm a person that like loves to go out to lunch and like go to coffee and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's been it's that part of it has been a little bit difficult. But I try to stay here as long as I can. Uh, so then I'm not sat at home doing nothing. And the the worst part about it as well, if I want to talk to friends, they're all back home. Everyone's in bed by like one o'clock here. So I don't really have much to do uh, except like PlayStation and FIFA. But can't do that every day. So I'm no, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, like lockdown being over so I can get out and because I haven't yeah I haven't really looked around either so yeah I'm looking forward to that. I suppose it helps the importance of having that team together this time does it so you come here and you can yeah. you can be as normal as possible I guess. Yeah and of course I live with Gustav as well so um, at least I've got you know someone to to talk with and and whatnot but I, I don't know what I'd do if I was living on my own I'd definitely struggle but um, yeah it's not ideal for anyone or anyone really at the moment so. I think, yeah, we all together, we all know what we're going through, so we just try to be there for each other as much as we can. It's important to talk, isn't it, I guess? With yeah. those sorts of things, it's obviously yeah. a tough time for everyone, it's important yeah. to keep communication up. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's like, when we come to training, we're all excited because we get to see each other and, like, you know, like, talk and, and do all that, so um, it's much better, much better. A bit of singing as well for you, have you seen that yeah. on Instagram? Yeah, that's a bit of a pastime as well. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, yeah, sort of like an escape. I started playing uh, the guitar as well now. Um, 
but I just teach myself. So I'm not I'm not the greatest, but yeah, I get by. Singing in the dressing room. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. They don't mind it, so some of them get behind it. So that's good. I just wanted to, to finally touch on, <clears throat> already this season we've seen lots of boys kind of make, make their debuts in the first team. Is that kind of given everybody a real boost in terms of, you, you can see the pathway just there? Because you mentioned when you came in, the pathway is, is why you came in. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, well, that's that's what's on everyone's mind, obviously. And like. I don't think there's a player out there that wouldn't want to go play with the first team. That's why they're here. So, um, yeah, when you see players come down and like they're training with us, and you're like, oh, I'm not too far off, you know, like, just makes you want to work harder and get get that little bit of extra into you, so you can go up there and get your debut as well.